<laughs> so I saw a Facebook post in one of the FBA book groups that I'm a part of, Facebook groups that I'm a part of, and it got me thinking and got me motivated and kind of even got me pissed off. Not really pissed off, but sort of, I guess, jealous would be the right term, uh, which is not cute or good. The post was just a, a screenshot of the Amazon app and the seller showing how much they'd done for the day. Sales numbers, units moved, and uh, total gross sales. So they had sold, and this was for one day. So this was for yesterday or whatever it was. I believe it was for yesterday. And they posted it late in the evening, like nine o'clock at night or something. So it's for most of the day. They sold 85 units and was over $1,300 in gross sales which I calculated broke down to about $15.60 roughly per item. It's their average uh, sale price or ASP, which is great. If you're selling 85 items a day or during this crazy time, 85 items during this back to school stretch here, it's pretty phenomenal. Even if your ASP is $12 or $11, you're gonna be making a lot of money. I mean, grossing $1,300 and then take out all the fees and all the sourcing costs, it's probably gonna be over half over 50%, maybe 60% or so. So easily seven, $800, maybe more in profit in one day, right? In one day. And then this other person posted, now this is a, a seller, the 85 a day, or the 85 sales for the day. This is a person who gets Gaylords and sends in hundreds and hundreds, like four or 500, maybe more books a week. They have a large inventory, I think approaching 10,000, maybe even like 8,000, something like that. I don't know exactly clearly, but these are the numbers I've seen on and off. They do it themselves. Uh, the couple does it themselves, but they they do big numbers and sell a lot of units, whether it's back to school or not. And then someone else posted their numbers, which was a screenshot of Seller Central for the day, and they had done 92 sales and they had grossed $2,500. So they did seven more sales for the day, but grossed $1,200 more, almost double what the other ones did. Now that's another conversation about ASP and the second person, a woman who has a much higher ASP and clearly focuses on high priced items. If the average, it averaged out to over $27 was her ASP, which is crazy. And she clearly focuses on those books, has a lot of access to those and that's awesome. But it just got me thinking that, you know, my numbers. So today, so far it's Thursday. And I checked around, what is it, close to around 4.30 p.m. my time, and I had done 13 sales, which is awesome. Awesome for me. And I'll probably do a couple more. It's been going like that this week. For the last seven days, according to Seller Central, I have over 100 sales. So that's awesome. And I checked my month to date, and I'm up to 334 sales with, let's see, what is today? The 25th, I believe. So six more days, I believe I'm right, six more days. So that's a lot more days to go and all of those days are still back to school and into September for at least seven or 10 days, 14 days. So the rest of August is gonna be great. I should break 400 sales, which I said I wanted to do four to 500 sales. Hopefully I'll get way over 400. But anyway, my point is I'm doing awesome for me and I'm super psyched about it. But then I saw those numbers and I just got, I got motivated and then I got kind of, upset about it because I was thinking, man, if they can do it, why can't I do it? The only, the, there, you know, there's a lot of reasons. The biggest reason is they're both doing it full time. I'm not doing it full time, but still it doesn't mean I can't double my numbers even with the time I have now. And also considering that in a few weeks I'm gonna have, be able to source an extra, an additional day. So four, four days instead of three. So there's no reason I can't double my numbers. So for a year from now, I can't do 800 sales in a month. There's no reason I can't do that. Uh, and I can't get to doing you know, 400 sales normally in a month. It's time clearly is the, number, is the most important aspect, how much time you have to put into it for full time. Then you have books coming to you or you go out and get books, whichever it is, you can put in 10, 12, 14 hour days and send in 500 books a week or whatever it is. Get your inventory up to in the 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 range. So when uh, normal months are passing, your you know, 20, 30 sales a day is average. And then August hits back to school and then you're doing 85, 90 to 100 sales in a day, in one day. So the other woman, $2,500 gross, well, she's probably at least doing over, 
I would I would assume she's she's netting over fifteen hundred at least, maybe maybe better. It depends, you know. I don't know how much she's paying for her books. Maybe she's paying a little bit more because they're higher price books. I don't know, but let's say fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred, thirteen hundred in one day. If she's doing that for twenty days or so during this back to school stretch, I'm talking about making twenty 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 five grand in less than a month, you can kind of extrapolate and, and do the numbers and the math and see the kind of money that can be made, especially if you're, if you're full-time and have a lot of the time. But even part-time, I know I know, I can have 5000 in inventory or 3000 but selling really quickly and having access to a lot more books, uh, not just going out and finding them, but books coming to me. I just have to put the work in. I just wanted to talk about this because it uh, it just motivated me, but also kind of upset me because I just realized that while this back to school is great, you know, I know I can do more and I can do better and I need and want to do more and to do better, which is always the downfall, right? When you have some success in life, then you want more success. If you make, if you make additional money, you want more money, whatever it is. It doesn't, not just money, but thing, whatever it is in life, whatever success you have, then you want more success. You don't want the success to stop. I'm super happy with how it's going. Don't get me wrong. And I know if you're just starting and you're hearing my numbers and I'm 13 sales in a day and you're happy to get one or two, even during this time, then you're like, shut up, book bandit. You should be ecstatic. And I am, trust me. But once you get where I am, then you're gonna want more and more and more. That's fine. There's things I wanna do in terms of uh, income and sale, well, sales and income. So there's no reason that I can't hit those goals and there's no reason you can't if you commit to it and have a plan. So I need to get better organized when I, for instance, an example for me is Fridays and Saturdays. I need to plan those out better. I need to really look and do some research about yard sales, estate sales, write them down, find all the ones that sound really good, plan out a map, see if I can hit them all and see if there's any book sales. So I just need to get a little more organized and, uh, and not just use the excuse of, you know, I have kids and I'm tired and doing all this other stuff. And it's those are some legitimate excuses <laughs> but I'm gonna try to uh, just get a little more organized and more focused in those kind of areas. Just, you know, fo focus in on the certain aspects of the business where I can make some adjustments to increase my sourcing, increase my shipments, and increase uh, the number of books that I send in. Because it just blows my mind that there's, there's so much money to be made in books and CDs and a little bit in VHS as well, and of course vinyl which is a whole nother conversation. Books alone, there's a lot of them out there and we just have to get them, find the good ones and send them in Amazon and they're gonna sell. That's the thing that's amazing to me is a lot of these sourcing runs I've gone on in the past month or so, I'm selling a high percentage of those books that I sourced in one sourcing run quickly within a, a week or two, which is just awesome. To me, it says that I'm focusing on the right kind of books uh, and I'm learning about what books are gonna sell. Uh, it helps to be back to school, but nonetheless, um, once back to school is over, I'm, I'm confident that books will still be selling well. Non-school books as well are, are selling all year. So let's all get motivated. I'm motivated. I'm not gonna wait a whole year to try to do big numbers for August of next year. I'm gonna, once, once this back to school stretch is over, I'm gonna focus on the holidays. So November, December, and I'm gonna just go crazy with sourcing and shipping and get my numbers back up because right now I'm below 2,600 with inventory. I'm 2,500 and like something, 79 or something like that. So I'll definitely be in the 2,400s come September, uh, more than likely. So that's a good thing. I like to bring my numbers down, meaning I sold so many and I can send in more. I don't have to, ever, I don't have to worry anytime soon about hitting my maximum, especially as I reprice older items and those sell off. That's another exciting thing is during back to, back to school, I'm selling off older stuff that's been sitting for a while because I repriced it, and I'm still selling CDs, and I'm still selling VHS tapes. So all of that is just adding to the bottom line. So let's get motivated, let's focus, let's have some fun, make some sales, and as always, remember, keep booking.